Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, again, I'm very happy to show you the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello from SH Figure Arts. If you saw the Leonardo review, then you know these are really solid figures and you know that this one's probably going to be pretty similar. This review is going to be much shorter. If you want to check out the Leo review for a much more in-depth look at the figure, you can click on that little bubble at the top and check out that review. But this is Donatello, so we're going to take a look at him. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just over five and a half inches, five and five eighths maybe, which puts him just about 14 and a half centimeters. And he's just the same as Leonardo, except he's got the purple instead of the blue. And instead of the L, you get the D. He's got some nice accessories, basically the same as Leonardo. We have one alternate head. I like his alternate head much more than Leonardo, so that's a good thing. Otherwise, the basic head is the exact same as Leonardo. Not fond about that. They definitely should have had unique primary heads, I think. Uh, but that's just personal preference. We do get the same set of hands. We have the two fist hands, the two weapon gripping hands, the two secondary gripping hands, and the two style pose hands. Decent interchangeable hands. I like that a bunch. Uh, in terms of the bonus accessory, instead of a manhole cover, you get a slice of pizza. For the belt, we have the interchangeable belt that holds his bow staff. And, of course, we have his bow staff. Now, his bow staff does not have any paint on it. Based on the cartoon, it should have white straps or white wraps, whatever you want to call those things. They're not painted. I don't know if mine's just missing it or what, but they should definitely be painted. You know what? Let's refer to the box. Should they be painted? Doesn't look like it on the front. Doesn't look like it on the back. They should be but they're not. Now, as far as the figure goes, you know they're really solid. It's the exact same figure as Leonardo, so I'm gonna run through it real quick. Ball peg at the head, ball peg at the neck. Really good range. You can move it however you want. We have a vertical butterfly, a lateral butterfly, a ball peg, and a ball hinge for the shoulder. It works wonderfully. Best shoulders I've seen on a figure arts figure, maybe on any figure ever. I love it. It's a great shoulder design. Absolutely fantastic, looks good. Functions, very pleased. Bicep swivel, no problems there. Double jointed elbow, again, one of the best elbows on a figure that I've seen. Very well designed, looks great, functions great, what more could you want? Ball hinges for the wrist, so no problems there, and it looks really nice. For the torso, we have a ball peg in here. You can kind of see that split right there. That up there is the butterfly. That's the torso split. It's a ball peg. You can lean them back and forward a little bit. Not a whole bunch. You can rotate it some. You can lean it side to side. Not a ton of range, but given the fact that he's got a shell, I think that's acceptable. For the hips, we have what appears to be ball hinged ball pe or hinged ball pegs, like your standard SH figure arts, but the hinges just don't seem to really want to go. You can still bring the legs out pretty far. If you wiggle them down, you can get that hinge to move a little bit, but you can still bring them out pretty far, and it looks really nice due to that uh, hinge cap in there, so that's really nice. Uh, you get your full swivel out of the thigh. You can't bring them forward that well. The shell does flex, but the range just doesn't want to go. It goes out to the side a little bit, which is acceptable, but it's not perfect. It's one of the downsides of the figure. The other one I didn't mention is the fact that the bandana is not posable, and he does have the exact same bandana as Leonardo. Could be a much better situation. As far as the knees, just like the elbows, they work really well, and they look good. Can't complain about that. I love it. Very, very nice. Now for the ankles, we do just have that ball peg in there, which does not provide the best range. I guess it's technically a double ball peg. It looks like it moves a little bit at the top. But not the best range and not the best look. So it's not great. Definitely the weakest part of the figure, I would say, is the ankles. They're acceptable, but they're not great. We do have that really nice toe hinge, so I like that. Now be aware, if you didn't see the Leo review, you need to know this. The lower legs and some other various pieces are die cast. Uh, the ankle hinge is or peg is die cast, so you may see paint issues. Be extra careful when messing with the lower legs. Die cast is painted rather than molded it can scratch, be aware of that. But because of that die cast, they're heavy where they need to be and they balance really well. And I love these guys. So again, if you didn't see the Leo review, click that link right there so you can see it. Uh, it goes a lot more in depth than this review, but this one should be sufficient if you don't care to watch a 10 minute review. Uh, but yeah, these are great figures, I love them. If you love turtles, if you love the turtles, not just turtles in general, like that one kid from that thing on the internet a couple years ago, maybe 10 now, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, get the figures. They're really, really solid. If you like SH figure arts and only kind of like the turtles, get them. Some of the best all-around SH figure arts figures I own. Very, very pleased with them, and I think you guys will be too. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day, and we talk about all kinds of things. Action figures, custom figures, movies, TV shows, video games. All kinds of fun stuff, so come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.